In this video, we are going to present uh, what we consider a novel technique in decreasing blood loss during laparoscopic myomectomy. It's actually first described by Dr. Ko and his teams as a triple tourniquet technique, or uh, as he called it, Hangsman tourniquet technique, that was published in JMEG in 2022. Kukrerin in review also mentioned a lot of measures to decrease blood loss during uh, laparoscopic myomectomy, which tells us that bleeding is a challenge in any type of myomectomy here. This is a multiple uh, uterine fibroids, all types, all sizes. Uh, so uh, decreased blood loss will make it easier to do it by laparoscopy. Otherwise, laparotomy was an option. So we first introduce the, this PDS uh, suture material through a suprapubic region then take it lateral to the uterine artery at the level of the osmoth on the right side. In this case, it was challenging because the fibroid was occupying the right side. Then uh, take it to the other side uh, at the same level, ismic part, lateral to the uterine artery in the avascular space at the level of the osmoth. So, uh, knowing the anatomy, actually, where is the ureter? and how to avoid injuring the uterine artery is mandatory for this step. Then we are going to do the Hangsman tourniquet uh, technique uh, by doing a sliding knot. Sliding knot is applied by doing one uh, uh, clockwise and the other uh, counterclockwise without need to tie it completely. Then after that, as we will see, all what you need is to invert the knot by pulling the string that is extracorporeal upward and the string that is uh, to the right side or the shorter one inferiorly, which is the string that you are going to slide over. As you see in this step, left hand, right hand, downward, upward, so the knot is inverted. Now all what you need is to slide it. Um, after you slide the knot, you tighten it as much as possible. And we use uh, PDS uh, type 1, so it is uh, a strong one and it's not uh, sharp enough to cause dissection uh, or transection in the tissues. Then we will notice uh, during the surgery how the blood loss is decreased. The color of the uterus became whiter. Uh, and this is actually uh, causing no harm for the uterus as after we finish the surgery, all what we need is to cut the thread of the tourniquet and the uh, blood will come back to the uterus. Uh, actually, the, the founder of this technique did uh, a triple tourniquet, uh, which means the first tourniquet was on the ismic part as we did, uh, and two other tourniquet at the IP ligament to decrease even the ovarian uh, communication between the uh, ovarian arteries and the uterine uh, arteries. However, in this technique, we did not do the other uh, two tourniquets because we just wanted to see the effect of each step alone because uh, if it is convenient and satisfying, I think the ismic part will be enough in the future. As you see, uh, eight centimeter, six centimeter, uh, intramural, subserosal, uterine fibroids removed from the posterior uterine wall uh, with very minimal uh, blood loss. And even the suturing, not as always, we depend on our speed on, in suturing and reconstructing the, uh, the uterus to, to be faster than the bleeding process. In this technique, actually, we noticed that we did not need to be as fast as the previous. Uh, also, we use the barbed sutures, uh, as always. This is another measure to decrease blood loss in the proscopic myomectomy. Here, as you notice, we only use the scissor, the cold scissor. We don't even need to use the electrosurgery, which gives us a better healing for the myometrium. Uh, a decrease in uh, incidence, actually, of uh, hematoma formation and uh, malhealing processes or even uterine rupture in the future. So uh, our experience, our, our first experience actually in this uh, tourniquet technique uh, was uh, uh, wonderful and I think this will add to the learning curve of doing laparoscopic myomectomy more and more in the future. Thank you for your uh, listening and watching.